Hey YouTube, Mike that tankless guy here. How are we all doing today? I hope we all had a safe and productive week. All right, today we actually got in most of Navion's um, concentric venting for their NPN model units. So when you're gonna be installing them inside, venting them outside, the only way that you could do that with an NPN is with their concentric venting. We're gonna go over that in a second. Opposed to their NPE model, which can be vented with the PVC only. All right, so you can't have concentric with that one. It's just the PVC. But with the NPN model, it's just um, the concentric venting. But I'm gonna go over that venting right now with you and I'll show you. Um, I have a good majority of all the pieces, so we'll go over it right now. All right, so we got, let's just we'll put this down here. vertical vent first so they have a vertical vent and they make one one size so the whole thing is 27.2 inches tall and it is opposed to Eubanks other venting this is just all black very similar to Eubank But this is all metal. There is no polymer in this. You get a metal rafter hanger. You get an instruction sheet uh, with mollies and screws to screw it in. Um, it explains silicon grease is applied to inner surface of the gasket in the female channel of the elbow and extension pipes. So it's all metal. And it's, and it's all powder coated. So you have your exhaust and you have your air intake. This is the actual channel that would sit down into the um, roof boot. So this here would be, oh look at that, it fits. So that would be if you're going to vertical vent the um, tankless. So of course there'd be some more piping and then up through the roof. So again, you get this, it's opposed to the other style, this is a metal um, hanger that actually supports the uh, piece when it comes down through the roof. Now, all I was able to get with this was the 21. But they also make, so this becomes 33, and this is the horizontal vent kit. I'm going to move this table over so we can move this prop and get an idea in a second. They make um, a 21 inch and 11.5. But the 21 inch is 33.6 the 20, well, excuse me, the 11.5 is 24.1. That's with the elbow. So, just like with all horizontal venting, and I did not open this, so it's a little bit of a dickens here. Okay. This is the horizontal vent kit. Again, all metal, all powder coated. You get an elbow and a straight piece of pipe, which I'm assuming this elbow will come off. Yep. Air intake exhaust again another instruction booklet with the silicon grease 
And again, what I read to you, same instructions. Screws, mollies, uh, uh, instructions with pretty much almost like a catalog. And then two, metal powder coated um, escutcheon plates with screws, yeah I'll bring them closer so you have screws to molly it to the wall or screw it to the wall and then you have screws on the side to screw the piece from going back and forth it says top so there's your escutcheon for outside there's your escutcheon for inside. Now with this, you don't have to be so critical with what's sticking out of the house. Now, if this is the end of the house and you have that much sticking out, that's pretty ridiculous. But you could leave it because this is all powder coated. It's UV protected. But it's cut the same way as my as I show on my other videos. The venting is a half inch up. The inner is a half inch higher than the outer. But it would take a little bit more effort to cut this because it's all metal. So you would have to take your time cutting this. But it's very nice. It's a very nice, it's got top too, so you know if you're outside, what's the top. Um, it's a very nice, uh, nice venting. Now, you can only use this venting on their unit. Oh, let's go over. So basically with the elbow, oh, and if you notice here, all their elbows, and I'll show you on the single elbow, has a half inch well plug which becomes a tap and if you're going vertical you take a condensate trap off of it so the condensate that comes down for the air intake you can see it right in there you see how it is so the condensate excuse me that's coming in through the exhaust will actually come through here and come out so with this you would have your elbow and then your then just like that now remember with the NPN unit you have a vent safety switch right here that this has to be pushed all the way down so you have you have this rim here that has to meet up with this rubber gasket in order to click this safety switch right here. You see it? Right here. There's one in the NPE, in the exhaust side, and there's one here. Remember what I showed you about the hood? Okay, how you have to uh, take it out, bypass it, gasket, put the hood on, put the freeze protection in. Well, that's the same thing. You have to be able to catch that um, actual... Uh, vent safety switch and they they engage the same way you know you do like I said you do have to put a little grease on this one just like you have to with the P, PP style for uh, Renai they pack it nice you know considering it's powder coated all right they make just like um, Eubank, they make um, elbows and 45s. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, 
stuff up. Yeah. Okay. So they have 45s, but it's only one to a pack. Grease, screws, instruction sheet, and it's on a pivot. It's on a pivot. There's two screws and it pivots. So that's your 45. And then your elbow, you have one elbow in the box. It's always better to go with 45s, because remember elbows take six feet away. And then you have what I showed you, same thing, elbow, screws, grease, and instruction sheet. And it's got the same um, condensate drain port for when you're going vertical. Now remember, when you're going more than the 21 inch horizontal, you need to remove this plug and take a condensate trap or make one. So you need to put a condensate trap off the unit. When you're going vertical or going more than the 21 inch um, horizontal vent. Because this will trap condensate, it'll bring it back down and it'll bring it into the top of the heat exchanger and it'll cause the heat exchanger and the burner to have a lot of problems. Okay, now they make a 10 inch piece and a 39. Here's your 39. I don't have to open it. It's pretty much exactly the same as the U-Bank. They don't make a 19. So they make a 10 and a 39. They do not make a 19. So I'm, I don't have to open it. You understand. I'm going to show you the um, actual catalog here. So you have your 45. You have your elbow. You have your condensate trap kit. You have your wall strap, then you have your adjustable roof flange, which is for angle roof, flat roof. Here is your 10, here's your 39, here's the horizontal 21 inch, which I showed you, 11.5, and then your vertical vent, which is 13 inches. That's the part that sticks up through the roof, through either that flange or that flange. Okay, so that is the venting for an NPN model unit. This one indoors. Um, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice kit. I have not gotten the opportunity to install the venting yet, because pretty much everything that I sell is in the, is the um, condensing model which is about 90%. And then when I'm doing the, a propane job, like if I'm doing a propane install for a propane company, it's an exterior, so it's a NPN, but outside model. So I don't need to vent it. So I have not installed an interior one of these yet. Um, I've seen the venting. I've seen it out in a, in a couple of classes out in Jersey, but, um, they were finally able to get me uh, a good majority. I don't need the roof boots, a roof boots, a roof boot. Um, and, you know, uh, the other stuff is, is, is still on back order um, to, to come in. The 11.5 uh, and the 10 inch piece. So I have a full uh, array of venting for, 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 for the unit. So, all right. Um, that's that. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I will have a full list of everything down below. All the part numbers, all the sizes, everything. Uh, you can get it at your local supply house, or um, you know where you get your Navion. If they may not have the venting, they'll get it in for you. 
So, you know, just um, they have, have them in stock. You know, they're, they're not much more than the plastic with the metal inside Eubank. They're not much more. So, but of course, every supply house is different. Every, every supply house, is price is a little different. So, you know, just get pricing from your supply house and they'll be able to uh, get you the product. All right? Um, I appreciate all of the comments, all the likes, the subscribes. Hit that button. You'll be notified when I'm going to be putting out another video. I'm going to continue um, finishing up the NPN model, and then I'm going to get over to the NPE model, which is going to be quite a few videos because there's a lot to cover on that, and it's a pretty cool product. And, and you'll see what the big, big differences in that product is amongst everybody else's. All right, YouTube. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for all of those subscribes. From out of my heart, I greatly appreciate it. You all be safe out there. Enjoy installing your endless hot water, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.